I'm Justin Davis, I'm a vicar of South West Gower and welcome today to St Mary's Church here in Vasili where we've been uh, launching the Gower Pilgrimage Way, our 50 mile walking route which takes you from Penclough in the north of Gower through all the 17 Anglican churches right round to Bishopston. It's been a delight and pleasure today to welcome the Lord Lieutenant of West Glamorgan and the High Sheriff of West Glamorgan to our event. This is a golden opportunity, we think, to invite people to walk in the landscape in a sustainable way and to visit and enjoy our churches, not only from a point of view of their historical importance in the landscape, but also to experience faith today, to be able to engage with the communities of faith which live, work and worship in this landscape here, here in the Gower. And St Mary's Church here in Vasili um, is, is a beautiful church, but also a very important church. We welcome many thousands of visitors into this place. People who come here to see the Edgar Evans Memorial. People who come to place prayer, prayers on our prayer tree for the Ukraine. People who want to find a place of stillness, of peace and of quiet in their busy lives. All things that we can offer to people through our faith and through our places of faith. My name is David Pope and I chair the Gower Pilgrimage Way project and this morning we've been having a launch um, of, the, of the Pilgrimage Way with um, guests invited to the church here at St Mary's Rossilli. The project kicked off about a year ago now when the, um, the vicar Justin Davis pulled together a group to look at ways that we could welcome people back into the churches uh, at the end of lockdown and also to engage more with our, our local, local communities. Um, Gower is a very popular area, particularly with walkers, it was the first area of outstanding natural beauty in Britain in 1956. And it's also well known for its, its medieval castles. But what is not so well known are the churches, most of which go back to medieval times and some of them, well, a number of them have got their foundations back in the Celtic period and they're named after the Celtic saints like St Ifted, St Tylu, St Catug and, and St Kenov and, and St Ridian. Um, so this is an opportunity for people to be able to walk between the 17 churches or cycle between them to discover a little bit about uh, the, the ancient buildings and also to learn a bit about the faith of those saints who founded the churches and the faith that's very much still alive in the churches today. We've got um, an, ac uh, an active website, uh, GowerPilgrimageWay.org, Facebook, Facebook groups in, in Welsh and English, and, and we've managed to produce with the help of the, um, the Rural Development Partnership of, of Swansea Council, which um, has given us a grant from EU and Welsh Government funds. With the aid of that grant, um, we've been able to produce guidebooks that, are, uh, that, that people can obtain freely from the churches or from other tourist locations in the area. There's also um, a children's booklet called Arthur's Gower Pilgrimage which um, enables the children to actually look for interesting things in the church and the, the, um, the teddy monks and teddy nuns that are, are hidden somewhere in each church. So we're having a, 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 Gower, a Gower Pilgrimage Festival in September over a week where we'll have guided walks along the, the Pilgrimage Way and also events in the evening uh, there'll, be, there'll be concerts and talks and uh, meditations on the theme of, of pilgrimage. So we've seen this very much as, a, as an ongoing project. This year is where we're kicking it off, uh, but we hope that this will be very much a project that uh, is alive for many years to come in Gower.